Tonight we are marking another milestone in Maine history. 200 years ago today, Maine was still part of Massachusetts, but its leaders were in Portland taking the next big step towards statehood and new constitution. That event is being celebrated tonight in Portland at the First Parish Church on Congress Street because that is on the site where the constitution was written. New Center Maine's Don Carrigan reports on what at the time was a groundbreaking achievement. Most people pass by the first parish church not knowing their lives are affected every day by what happened here in October of 1819. But not in this same building. It was the previous building on the same site, a huge old wooden meeting house called the Old Jerusalem. People in the District of Maine had voted that July to leave Massachusetts and become a state. But before Maine could be accepted as part of the Union, it needed a state constitution. That document, which we still use today, was hammered out right on this very site in a remarkably short 18 days. The Constitution of Maine is different than all the others that preceded it because it is the first that ran into the great issue of slavery. Local historian Herb Adams says Maine granted blacks the freedom to vote 40 years before the Civil War. And the simple wording that all men over 21, 21 and older, could have the vote, that meant all men. Women and Maine's native tribes were not allowed to vote, but Adams says the Constitution was still remarkable for how it treated blacks at that time. In its day, it was a revolutionary step. Like statehood itself, the convention was led by William King of Bath, who would become Maine's first governor. Maine State Historian Earl Shuttleworth. It's almost like the role that George Washington played in the formation of this country. Uh, William King was just automatically viewed as the person who, who should head the Constitutional Convention. Herb Adams says the delegates who sat in box pews like these represented the full spectrum of Maine, from business people to farmers, and used a simple attitude toward freedom including religion. In 1819, uh, it is said in our Constitutional Convention that it didn't matter if you were a Mohammedan, which is what they call Muslims then, or a Hindu, H-I-N-D-O-O-O, -O -O, uh, back then, welcome, welcome. After just 18 days, the Constitution was written. It would be ratified by a vote of the people in December, an early achievement, historians say, that deserves to be celebrated. In Portland, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine. That celebration tonight will start at 7 p.m. at the First Parish Church in downtown Portland. We'll be talking a lot more about Maine's Constitution and other bicentennial stories in the weeks and months ahead.